Well, I'm like a full-time student at the University of Newcastle and I do maths and economics. Um, but other than that, I don't really do anything other than league. Like, I spend most of my time playing league. Uh, I started playing league after Jinx was released because I saw like the Jinx music video, um, <clears throat> like Get Jinxed. It was like trending on YouTube or something. So I like clicked on it and it was pretty cool. So I installed league and I didn't really play it properly <clears throat> like a year until like a year after but like I had it installed so like I guess I was like building up to it but I was quite young so my first main was six like I still play him now sometimes but definitely not as much as I used to uh but yeah like I used to main six I used to main jinx as well um kind of just people who like make things explode because I guess like that's why I started playing because I like jinx but yeah like just six jinx I think I was mainly a mid laner but I play Rumble in the mid lane as well, even though he wasn't a mid laner at that time. I didn't really, I don't really remember because I it was after the one v one tournament thing that I did, like the Red Bull one v one tournament. Um, I started playing. No, so I went to the Eminem boot camp uh, thing, as which was like the reward for winning it. Uh, also, uh, going to Brazil, but yeah, like the Eminem boot camp thing, and I was GM, so like I'm not like too bad at the game and. Like everyone around me was like GM, except for like Chips, who was Challenger, and Nolte, I think, was Challenger too. And Yusa was like GM, and yeah, everyone else was like GM. So I was like, whoa, I'm like the same rank as these people. Maybe I should like actually do competitive stuff because I didn't even know that there was like a, a UK scene and stuff um, that I could like potentially play in until that. So yeah, like I kind of roughly started playing competitively or even considering it. Uh, like after I won the Red Bull 1v1 tournament thing. Uh, yeah, so like end of 2019. Well, UKLC is definitely a lot more skilled. Uh, there's just like a lot more like of the fundamentals in like UKLC. Uh, like I've definitely improved a lot since I've progressed from UKL to UKLC. I'm sure that everyone who's also progressed from UKL to UKLC has improved as well. Uh, and so like obviously uh, it's harder and it's more competitive. So yeah, like I would definitely say that like UKLC is just a lot more competitive than UKL and uh, there's just a lot more things that you, like you actually have to play competitively rather than just, you know, uh, playing as a five man pre-made uh, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, definitely like every um, like scrim that we do, I learn like a lot because there's always like a learning objective that we um, like I told like 15 minutes before the game and we go out and get like a drink or something and then come back and we're like okay this is what we have to do in the scrim session today um so yeah like uh the scrims definitely helped me a lot because like we always learn from them so i know that demise and envision are definitely not the same team that they were at the start of the split because i remember when we played them first it was a lot different to when we played them second i think they're like really strong teams and it's actually quite competitive because obviously we're all nine five like none of us are you know ten and four or eight and six we're all nine five so we're all like you know uh on the scoreboard equal in skill if that makes sense so yeah like um i'm like looking forward to it and it will definitely be quite competitive eminem as a team i think a lot of the strengths lie in like their top jungle i think they they work quite well together uh aragon's really nice and so is good in the and i think they're probably the strongest elements of the team mid lane obviously van gogh uh he's got some competitive experience and that's always really good to have if you're playing competitively uh yeah like i think eminem's quite a good team uh, and playing against them will also be quite competitive. I don't know because we went 0-2 against London and I was quite scared, you know, playing against them because like Golden God's like challenger or something and he's got like a lot of experience or something competitively and Chimera's like always been seen, seen quite highly of, you know, in the UK scene, like he's, he's usually a UKLC mid laner and this is what my first split in UKLC and UKLC is second division now so it's even less than what it was. So it means less to be in UKLC now than it was before and Camara was in it before. I'm just as surprised as everyone else is and I don't really like understand why they didn't make it in to playoffs. Uh, they beat us and we were first place until this weekend. Uh, yeah, I fully expected them to make it in and you know, I thought we would be against them in like the finals or something you know as the top two teams but 
I guess I was wrong. Definitely not. Um, like we just played against Bulldogs and they were kind of what probably broke us for the next weekend. They played quite well or like they were just they just played against us quite well maybe but their team now is definitely not the same team or not the same skill level as their team initially uh, at the start of the split they had their team now like I'm sure they were all just playing for fun anyway because they wouldn't make playoffs regardless of what happened you know if they had this roster that they do now they probably would have you know maybe been up there with everyone else you know like everyone would have been on the same ground and Bulldogs would be in you know the group probably in vision I think They've got quite a strong top side. Alex is quite good. Um, he definitely caught me off guard with Set. Like, I usually know how to play against Set in our game this weekend. He showed that I don't. Like, there's probably another champion that I think that I can play against and he'll just play it and, you know, do that to hopefully the other teams in the playoffs, uh, not us. And then we go against them in the finals. So, yeah, uh, I think Envision definitely because they just have a really strong roster. Uh, and, like, uh, yeah, I, I know that they're quite individually skilled so probably not because um everyone who is in like nlc right now like they're not there for no reason like they've already got experience and they're quite individually skilled and i know that like uklc people players have individual skill yeah but like um i, I think that we like the majority of us are probably quite um in inexperienced like competitively and so like the like bottom teams of NLC will probably still beat the top teams of UKLC um, and I know that like when we scrimmed against like the main team uh, like we would just get hard stomped and I know that they have like Max Law and you know Heaver and stuff but still uh, they are an NLC team and even though they're not in the bottom like just the fact that the bottom tier teams have probably gone against like teams like that in NLC like they've probably learned more than we have going against UKLC teams so 